Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's start rebooting of using UiPath. In today's session, we are to discuss about UiPath Clipboard AA. So basically, this UiPath Clipboard AA, so how different from other tools? So what are the advantages of using this UiPath AA Clipboard? So you'll be having a n number of questions, right? So let me clarify one by one in our today's session. So first of all, to download this UiPath AA Clipboard, so you have to enter your mail ID over here and click on download so that you can get the MSI file which I have already installed over here. So let me jump back to the concept now. So what is the use of this clipboard AA? So basically you will be copy and pasting few data from one source to another destination, right? So usually you'll be doing like this way, right? So you maybe have a few data in the Excel spreadsheet and you have to populate only certain data in the web page. So let's assume, so you have around 10 columns, but in a web page, you have to populate only five data. Okay. So in those scenarios, you are manually copy and pasting those data from the Excel spreadsheet to web page, right? So here using this clipboard AA, it will understand, even though it read 10 data, it will understand what are the labels in the web page and populate only those respective data into the web page. So remaining other data will be ignored automatically. So where it will identify each and every fields. So what are the respective fields for this particular data and what are the respective fields for this particular data. And it will map the data accordingly. So let me quickly jump back to the today's session and I have an answer on, on this. Since I have already downloaded the clipboard AA, so let me launch it. So already I have just prepared few data set, so which we are going to use in our today's session. So inside this particular folder, you can see a data. So where input, so we are going to provide all these four kind of inputs and output. So we are going to populate some data in a spreadsheet and some data in a web form. So let me take it one by one so that you will be aware about so in which places we are going to use this clipboard AA and how efficient it is. So let me go to the data. So inside the input. So let me take the first example as a bank statement. So here, so you maybe have a task, right? So in this particular image, you can see any transaction, right? So this transaction need to be copied into an Excel. So how usually you will do? So you'll be just seeing all the transaction and typing one by one, right? Otherwise you'll be using OCR, but it may be not that much accurate, right? So using this clipboard A, you can paste this data in the spreadsheet without affecting any schemas actually. So let me try to indicate this copy window. Perfect. So it was analyzing the data. So what actually it means analyzing? So it was fetching all the data over here. So where you are going to paste this particular data? So let me go to the output. So inside this output, so I have a separate spreadsheet for this. So let me try to launch this spreadsheet. So inside this spreadsheet, I have already made a columns. So only I just need these particular data. So let me go to the image here, data, transaction details, debit, credit, balance, right? So I'm just going to paste the data over here. So how to paste the data? So you have to click the particular destinated cell where you are going to start pasting your data and then go here. So click on paste form so that it will start pasting all the data. It has been captured in the image. So it just started analyzing and matching the how many fields are there, right? Perfect. So it has been pasted all the data over here. You can see, right? So one five statement opening balance. So statement opening balance. So all the values has been pasted over here. So very cool, right? So it is able to understand. So what are the column it was there and how to paste the data. So let me throw some other examples over here. Let me try to delete this. Okay, now. So here we have only four columns. The data which we have here is around five columns, right? So our clipboard A will understand which column is not there and eradicate the particular data over here, okay? So let me try to delete this first now. And then let me go to the cell two and try to paste in cell again. Very cool, right? So it has understood the particular column has been deleted and then it is ignored the particular values, right? So here we don't see any transaction details, right? Perfect. So likewise, it will be able to understand which particular label are there and which particular label is not there. So let me go to the next example. Let me save this and let me close this now. So what our next example is passport. So here you can see 
two passwords, right? So these two passwords are an image like how we are seeing the bank statements. So here we are going to extract the particular data and then we are going to populate in the form. So let me try to open the form as well. So let me go to the data, web form. So here we have passport form. Perfect. So this is a form where we are going to populate the data. So we have multiple information. So we are going to populate only the required information which is in a web form. So let me start indicating. So here you can see copy window, right? Just click copy window. So which will be a source. So it is analyzing and it has been extract all the data now. So now let me go to the web page, right? So here you are going to paste in a destination. So paste in form. So here once I started indicating, I just getting a red mark. So what actually it indicates? I didn't made any enable extension. So that's why it was showing a red mark. So what I'll do, I'll just make a settings. So let me go to the extension. So when I'm going to use this for the first time, so we'll be also facing the same issue. So here you can see something called as allow access to the file URLs. So let me try to enable this. Perfect. And then close this up. So let me try to refresh this and then try to paste it now. So now it will understand the fields and map the data accordingly. So you can see all the data are getting populated automatically by the labels. So here our document understanding model has been used in the background which help us to identify the labels and paste the data accordingly. Very cool, right? So it has been pasted all the data in a perfect way. Full name, gender, and then date of birth, passport number, nationality, and expiry. So all the information has been populated perfectly, right? So let me go to the next image. So let me click on submit. And then, so we are going to indicate this particular passport as well. So let me click on copy window. So this is very cool, right? So like how we are copying the information and pasting into a different destination where we need it. So let me minimize this. Let me go to the web page. So here, let me try to paste in this particular form now. Once you click on this open mapper, it will open the mapper. So how the data has been allocated or how the data has been mapped over there. So you can see here, right? So full name, this particular value and then gender. So date of birth, passport, nationality. So all the things are got mapped over here. So here you can see some more features which is used in the Gen A. So you can see here edit button. So what actually this indicates? So here I just already given which is named as full form of gender type. So for an example, so in your passport you will be indicated as a F which indicates female, right? So if it is a M, it's a male. So what I just given here, full form of gender type. So it understand if it indicates F, then it's a female. So here Gen A has been used, okay? So likewise, if you want to transfer some data in a different format, you can try to click on this particular two symbol and then write a description how you are typing in a chat GPT so that it will put forward the data in a different format. So how actually you are looking for. So also I just want to show you a few more things. So you can click on change. So if you are not getting a exact data which you are going to looking on, then you can click on change which help you to transform from one format to another format. So here by default it has understood it was a passport, right? So if you are going to use an invoice, receipt, ID card, so based upon that, you can able to change your type also. So if it is not a structured one, it is an like unstructured one. During those time, you can take this plain text, if it's a semi-structure, so it has all the formats which you are looking for. So it is able to identify what actually the document which you are going to provide and it will able to provide the label which document. So here I just indicated and then it is recognized this is a passport. So likewise it will identify what kind of a document it is. So if it was not able to identify then it will be indicated as a plain one, plain text. So let me try to close this now. So we have already populated all the information. Let me click on paste data. So it will start pasting all the data now here, right? Cool. So all the information has been populated. So this is very cool, right? So how we are going to use a control C and then control V copy paste, right? So let's assume so if you are going to copy this entire data from image and manually going here, typing those stuff, it will take much time, right? So but here using a source destination concept, you are going to indicate your source and then you are going to 
pull back all the data from the source and going to paste in destination so it's very much faster and much easier right okay, so let me go to the pdf and then have some pdf activities so let me go to the next example so input so inside this you can see something called as invoices so these are the two invoices pdfs so let me try to open up this two pdf and then we can try to do the same thing which i have done for the images which is passport as well as the bank statement so let me try to open up this let me try to open as a chrome cool so let me try to close this form now okay and then so i just already created an web form where we can host the data so let me go to the data web form this is the submission form so here you'll be having a few information so like for an example in a financial department so you are going to capture few data from the pdf and you are going to populate in a, a web page or like any application which you are going to use in your enterprise okay so in those scenarios this clipboard a will play a vital role so it will extract all the information which you are seeing in a pdf and then populate all the information in the application enterprise application which you are looking for so let me try it out so let me do the same thing which is copy window so it is analyzing the entire document now and then so let me go to the form which you have created right so here we have given client name client id client address check number check date so you can see the date format has been different correct so it's a different format it is not a check box and then employee handled the request and check amount so these are the fields right so let me try to populate now okay so let me click on paste in form so this will open the mapper now and show how it has been mapped so if everything looks correct then we can directly click on paste data to paste the data in the form which you are going to paste so you can see here right so everything has been populated cool right the name and then what is the uh, client id and the address check number so let me check over here so this is the client name and then client id client address check number check date this is very cool right so it is able to identify it able to identify what actually the label it was and then pasting the data in appropriate labels so likewise you can utilize this in different different ways so not only in a pdf not only in an image you can utilize this in a word format as well so let me show in the next example so before that let me go to the next invoice so let me put the data input so inside this so let me try to open up this one as well so this is the second request where you are going to extract the data right so let me try to indicate copy window so it will be analyzing all the data and will be captured so let me go here so let me try to click on paste in form so here you can click this open mapper so it will open the mapper before it is pasting the data so you can make it as a always opened or you, you can make it as a hidden or closed so anything you can able to do that so since i just clicked open mapper so it has before pasting the data it has opened the mapper now so you can see the name and the id address so all the information has been extracted perfectly right cool so let me take one, one more example over here so if you need only the name so how to use the genie so just click over here provide only the name of employee okay that's it so let me try to click on enter so now it started loading and it has been understood only it need a name so it has eradicated that number right which you are already seeing previously cool right so before pasting the data you can make multiples of manipulation so after that you can click on paste data to paste the data in appropriate enterprise applications so let me click on this paste data so it has been pasting all the data so the major thing over here is it was able to identify which particular label where it was going to paste the data right click on submit perfect so let me go to the next example so where you are going to read the entire word document and you are going to provide all the information in the excel 
so let me go to the next example input so here offer letter so let me try to open this offer letter so let me try to open the output excel as well so here offer letter so here this example will be familiar with uh, more HRs so in their day-to-day -day activities basically the HRs will be extracting the data of the employees and pasting in a Excel or in any application which I shown okay so let's assume they have a word format document okay so they have a 10 page or 20 page it may be any kind of a pages okay so what actually they will be doing so they will read the entire document it may be 10 page or 20 page it will read a 20 page document and then extract the information which is needed right you can see over here so i just need only this particular information in this particular word pad i don't want to read this entire document i just need only this particular data from this word document so how to do that so you with the help of the clipboard a you can able to perform this task as well so let me try to indicate copy window so it will be reading all the data which in the word pad and then let me go to the spreadsheet where you're going to paste the data so click on the particular cell where it need to be paste the data first and then click on paste in excel so click on open mapper so it will show how the data is going to mapped so let us open the data right so you can see your choice is plain text so since this is an unstructured one so it is not able to identify which particular choice this is like a passport or invoice or what kind of a document it was not able to recognize it so it has made as a plain text right so you can see all the information extracted perfectly right so let me go here J Vignesh and then company and then what are the role and CTC reporting manager so all the information has been extracted perfectly correct so let me click on this paste data so it will be pasting the data perfectly this is very cool right so let me try to confuse this now okay so let me try to delete this e column okay so let me try to delete this particular data and then let me try to paste it now once again so it should be able to understand the label of a reporting manager has been removed and then it should paste only the required data which is listed over here so let me try it now So it has understood so the manager reporting manager field is not there and then it is based only the required data which is listed over here which is name company and then role ctc and then date of joining this is cool right so it was able to understand so what are the label is there even though it is deleted or even though it is removed so it was able to understand so what are the field is there what are the label is there and pasting the data appropriately to the respective labels so basically it is working like a key value pair so it able to identify the key and based upon that it is going to paste the data so let me check a few other settings in this clipboard a so let me go here so you can see here your profile so in general so this will be a enable extract data so models so here you can use your ml models as well so let's assume so you have trained some ml models which you are getting a perfect accuracy so you want to add the particular model so how to add with this clipboard AA. so you can just click on add another model and then you can select the particular model which you are going to select and then url and the api key of the particular model which you are trained so by that you can click on save then you can utilize this particular model which you are already trained in your a center so likewise you can utilize this a clipboard in a multiple ways i hope this particular session will be helpful for you thanks for watching happy learning have a good day